And over to the FCT, the news has it that the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yenso Nguike, has assured that his administration will prioritise rural development. The Minister said this at the flag of ceremony of the emergency construction of the Paikonkuri Iwa Road in Gwagwalada Area Council. He said FCT residents in rural areas are entitled to quality roads in order to improve the standard of living. Here are details to that story. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Baris Tanyas Nwike, kicked off a 9-kilometer road in Paiko Kori, which is part of a 30-kilometer road plan for the six area councils of the FCT. This is in line with the renewed hope mandate of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Baris Tanyas during the flag off, assured that his administration will not only focus on the city center of Abuja, but also on the rural areas. According to him, providing efficient roads in rural areas will boost the economy and also improve standard of living. And one of those things that must make them to be comfortable is to give them access to road. The chairman of the area council has said so before. You cannot talk of fighting insecurity just to only provide logistics and equipment to police. You fight insecurity when there's access to road. If there are no roads, all the equipment you may give to police comes to nothing. I'm sure with this 9 kilometer road, it will go a long way to fight insecurity in this uh, area. Rike also appealed to the contractors to employ youths in each community to take part in the construction process so as to reduce unemployment and crime. At least for the period of this job, people here, the youth here, will be employed. They will find something to feed their stomach. They find something to feed their family. And that is the job of government to provide jobs. Job creation is another priority of Mr. President and the session. In his address, Chairman House Committee, FCT Area Council, and Auxiliary Matters, Fred Agbeji assured the Minister of the National Assembly's support throughout the course of the project. He said the committee will carry out oversight functions regularly to ensure steady progress is made. Your Excellency, our responsibility is to work hand in glove with you to ensure that whatever we can do from Parliament to give you the ample opportunity to attract development to the area councils who are prepared to work with you to do it. Aguma of Gwagwalada, Alhaji Mohammed Magaji, while giving his address, affirmed his confidence in the minister's ability to improve the quality of living for indigents of Paiko and Kore communities. Everybody know him, Nigeria. It's not Elo Olo Abuja. One the same Mr. Project is the whole Nigeria. Meanwhile, Chairman Gwagwalada Area Council, Abubakar Jibril Giri, while thanking the minister, said construction of quality roads will reduce the issue of insecurity in rural areas. The issue of insecurity is a major road we don't have. At least, even if there's anything happening in a village or in a bush, if you tell the street agencies, they will tell you there's no road to that place. Even if you provide vehicle, the head vehicle cannot even reach where something is happening. But I believe constructing this road from Pai Konko area to Iboa, I know you have reduced the problems of insecurities and also boost the economy of these areas. Some important personalities that were present at the flag off include Minister of State FCT, Mrs. Maria Mahmoud Bunkure, former Senator representing FCT, Phillips Aduda, as well as several traditional rulers and stakeholders from the nation's capital, Naomi Oleridi, ADBN News.